Hey everyone, it's Zena, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with some pelvic tilts while I introduce myself. So I am your Verticline Posture Coach, and I'm here today for our first Monday Movement Madness, where we're, we are going to be moving at our workspace, at our desk space. So if you are sitting, you're gonna do this class along with me. I'll do less talking and more moving. Um, so that you can actually work with me as we do this. And in 10 minutes, you will feel a little more active and a little more stretched out. And you can do this kind of anywhere um, that you have an office, a standing office, a cubicle, in your home office, um, anywhere where you're sitting at a desk. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm doing pelvic tilts right now. This is probably the most popular exercise that I do throughout my day. And by popular, I mean I do it and I encourage a lot of my clients to do it. I'm gonna to turn to the side. My chair today does not have any um, uh, arm handles so that I can demonstrate stuff for you both sitting um, to the side and sitting face front. But as you can see here, I'm rotating backwards and using my abdominals and then using my hip flexors to pull myself forward. When I do this movement, I stretch out my lower back. When I do this movement, I'm sitting tall in proper pelvis posture. So um, while you're doing this class with me today, I hope you are actually doing these pelvic tilts. And you can do 20 of these about three times a day. That would be what I would recommend. Or don't even think about it, just do it anytime you feel like your pelvis needs to move. The next exercise, exercise or desk exercise we're gonna do today is a lateral motion. So I'll go ahead and get started. So as you do this, you're gonna reach up and over. You wanna make sure that the opposite sit bone, so the opposite butt, is staying planted in the chair as you do this side by side. And a couple notes here, you wanna make sure that your body does not come forward, that you really stay lateral. That's where you're gonna get more of a stretch. You also wanna make sure that you keep your opposite, your sorry, your up shoulder down and not up by your ear. So try to keep that shoulder down. You wanna to try to keep your head in alignment with your spine. So if I turn to the side here, you want to make sure your head's not coming forward. So keep that ear over the shoulder as you go side to side on this exercise. This is stretching out the lats, it's stretching out the QL, and it feels amazing. And again, you can do about 20 of these throughout your work day whenever you feel like you want to get a stretch. It's a side of the body that is sort of forgotten, okay? So when we, uh, when we forget about the side, it actually pulls us forward into hunchback posture. All right, next up, we're gonna do a little twisting. If you have a pillow in your office, you can take that pillow and put it between your knees. If you don't have a pillow, you can just squeeze your knees together for this next exercise. So I'm gonna twist, and I'm gonna use my hand on the back of the chair, just to twist side to side. I'm sitting up as tall as I can here. So I'm in that pelvic curl posture, the posture where you're sitting up tall. I'm in that posture with my pelvis, and then I'm just grabbing the chair and my knee from side to side and really rotating and twisting. So again, you should be doing this along with me. This is a desk exercise that collapse. So in 10 minutes, like I said, you should feel better. So if you're watching, actually be doing this with me. If you keep your knees together, it will increase the stretch in your thoracic spine, the rotation in your thoracic spine. That's what we're looking to achieve here. We don't want to let the knees and the hips shift side to side. You wanna to try to keep them together and increase the movement from your thorax. Oh, this feels really good. You pay attention to see if you have one side that might be tighter than the other, and you can take your head with you when you rotate. I'm not because I'm trying to look at the camera and talk, but you're welcome to really look over that shoulder and also work on the rotation of the cervical spine. All right, next, we're moving into the same thing, thoracic twisting but we're gonna bring our arms up into um, an L-shaped position. And Super Bowl is coming up, so this should remind you about your flat screen TV. So you wanna pretend like you're a flat screen TV here as you rotate side to side. Now, you don't wanna take your head or your arms further than your body. That's what I mean by flat screen TV. The rotation is happening here from below the rib cage. So again, you should do this along with me. You wanna keep your shoulders down, you want to keep your knees squeezed together, or like I said, if you have a pillow between your knees, that can be really helpful. This one can get challenging. You can probably get a little fatigued here, because if you're getting tired, that means you're using those muscles. Again, repetitions here is about 20 repetitions. That is what's going to feel good for you. You can do more, you can do less. 
but I'm just going to recommend 20 because the idea here is that we're moving, moving our bodies, getting warmed up, and moving through ranges of motion that get tight when we are stationary, when we are immobile. So a simple exercise here can be quite effective. And again, you're moving from this area right below your rib cage. All right, moving on in. We're gonna move into the shoulders and the arms a little bit. I'm sure you guys have all seen shoulder rolls before. So I'm gonna just bring my hands down by my sides and roll my shoulders up and back. One of the things you wanna look forward to, um, a look for when you're doing this exercise is to not flare your rib cage out. When we try to squeeze our shoulder blades together behind us, we tend to want to flare the rib cage. So I'm going to show you from the side, bring your shoulders down. You don't want to flare, you want to keep everything together and still think about squeezing your shoulder blades together behind you as you do this. Now, we can also go in the opposite direction. We pull our shoulders back, bring it up and down. Shoulders back, up and down. Shoulders back, up and down. So again, it's about squeezing the shoulder blades together, not arch, not flaring your ribcage and arching your back, and just getting some movement happening in the shoulders, and again, the mid-thoracic spine, and all that fun stuff up there that tends to get very, very tight. Okay, next we're gonna do arm circles. This is a very popular exercise, a lot of people do it, um, and it's really great for, again, sort of moving that shoulder joint and starting to strengthen the muscles in the back between your scapula. So arms are gonna come out to your side, and you're just gonna circle your arms forward. You can move your body a little bit while you're doing this. You'll see that I'm kind of rocking back and forth, but I'm really focused again on squeezing the scapula together behind me. I am not flaring the rib cage again. So if I turn behind, I'm really thinking about squeezing and circling. That is what I'm looking for here. So you can see this is the arm circles. Now let's turn the palms face up, Keep the arms straight, and then work on circling backwards. Again, squeezing your shoulder blades together behind you. You should be doing this with me, okay? Yeah, you might look a little crazy at your desk, but that is far, far, far more easy to handle than the pain you're gonna have by sitting immobile at your desk for hours and hours on end. I know that when, you, when I'm sitting for long periods of time, I'll get up, I'll move around, I'll do some exercises and stretches about once an hour. So maybe pick two of these to do every hour and get it done. Okay, so my arms are starting to get a little fatigued here. I can feel my muscles squeezing behind me and I'm definitely working those muscles that help my good posture. All right, I've got two more exercises and they're standing. So you're gonna have to bear with me. You may not be able to see my face, but I want you to be able to see my body. So I'm gonna move my chair and we're gonna do a little calf stretch exercise. So I'm going to place my hands on the table and I'm gonna take one leg behind me with the toe facing forward towards the camera, towards the desk in your case. And then you're gonna bring the leg forward and switch sides. So we're getting a dynamic calf stretch here. We're also working the um, quads on the um, front leg. So that front leg is gonna get a little bit of work happening. And it's really important that you have a flat back on this. So let me turn to the side. Pretend like I've got my hands on a chair. I'm gonna take one leg back, or not on a chair, on a desk, or a chair would work too. And you can go back and bring it in, and go back and bring it in. So again, a great stretch for the calf. A lot of work here to maintain that flat back position, and some work happening here in the quad to stabilize you through this movement. Okay, we've got one more exercise. This one is a, um, a stretch for the hamstrings and a strengthener for the glutes. So again, you may not see my face. I'm gonna show you what it looks like at the desk and then I'll turn to the side and demonstrate. So on this one, we're gonna place our hands on the table. And again, we're gonna have a nice flat back position with a bent knee. So our hands will be on the table or the desk and then you'll stand up and take your hands behind you. So you're gonna come down into that flat back position, stretch in the hamstrings, and stand right back up. This is super easy to do. It's really important that your back is flat. If you straighten your legs and it rounds your back, you're not doing it properly. So make sure you bend your knees here and that you try to find that flat back position. And then like I said, as you stand up, your hands come by your sides. So we hinge and up and hinge and up. Let's do five more. 
I am talking a lot, but my heart rate is kind of getting up a little bit, especially when I place my hands on the desk there. It takes some work to get those hands up there. And you might find yourself getting your heart rate up. All right, that was it. That was 10 minutes. Before I turn off the video, I have to tell you guys that I am launching a new coaching program today, and I'm super excited about it. It's called Daily Desk-Cercise Delivered. And what it is, is you will get five to seven exercises every day in your email inbox that you can do at your workstation. Now, you could probably go on YouTube and find stuff to do. The question is, do you actually do it? So this program has accountability. If you don't do your exercises, if you don't log in and check them off, you'll get an email telling you that you didn't complete it. You'll get a message from me wondering where you are. Now, if you have questions on the exercise, you can ask them and you'll get a response. If you want someone to check your form, like you want to make sure that your back is flat on your deadlifts and you want me to check it for you, you can um, upload a picture of you or a video of you and I'll check it for you. So it's an amazing program. I call it a coaching program for a reason and it's very affordable. It's, gonna, it's currently priced at $19 a month. I mean, you guys, that's less than what you pay on Starbucks. And I'm offering a discount right now for all of my beta testers this week that are gonna be signing up this week for $5 off, so it's only $14 a month. So I'll post the link to this new um, coaching program underneath this video. I'll email it out if you're on my list. I'll place it on my Instagram page. It's a short time that I'm gonna be beta testing, so that discount code will only be available for a short amount of time. Again, $14 a month. If you have any questions, you can email me or post in the Facebook group, and I'll hopefully see you in the program, and I'll also see you next Monday for Monday Movement Madness. Thank you.